Hey everyone, it is me, it is I, Steve Gonzer, and my main man, Winston, who's gonna be chewing this bone and just dropping it on my foot during this call. Uh, Winston's just coming back from being in a doggy hotel, and I was away for a bit and I hurt myself, and I'm not happy about it. So I think it's important to know, like when you're, when you're a runner, and I see this often, is like you can hurt yourself outside of running and it affects your running. And I want to talk to you about how I hurt myself and who knows how long this is going to take, but I am super frustrated because it was completely avoidable. But as a physical therapist, I see runners come in and they'll, like most of the time it's running injuries, right? Like my knee got sore, I ignored it and I continued to get, you know, I continued on that path and just kept running on it. And sometimes runners come in and they hurt themselves outside of running and they think they can continue to keep running. So in my instance, I was rushing. We were at a leadership leadership retreat over the last couple of days. And uh, for those of you who are just joining me, this is what that noise is down here. I can't get rid of the guy. He's just loves to hang around me and his butt's super high in the air for some reason. But um, he came back from the doggy hotel. So he hasn't seen me in a couple of days, so we'll, we'll keep him around. But um, so I was, I was rushing to get home and unpack and, and to, well, pack up our place where we were staying running down a flight of stairs, backing out to the car, and then final trip. I'm not someone who moves very slow, so I was running down the stairs with some groceries in one hand, some high noons in the other, and I caught the step, foot goes out, and I go up in the air and land straight on my tailbone on a hardwood step and just lay there for a couple of minutes where my wife's just standing over me saying, what happened, are you okay? Um, and I am not because it is very difficult to sit down and get up right now. So I bruised my tailbone and I think this is where I see like a lot of runners feel like they have to keep pushing through. And um, I don't know how long this is going to take, but I can tell you that I can barely, uh, I can barely get out of my chair right now. This is what is also going on right now. But, um, you know, sometimes things happen and sometimes you have to you know, say, ah, shit, and try to just not worry about it. But if you look at my Strava, I ran really strong and really good through the hills where I was uh, when I was away. And now I'm assuming I'm not going to be running for a couple weeks here, which really stinks and it's a bummer. But um, just know, like, things happen. You get hurt. I'm sure I'm going to change my tone and be super grumpy in the next couple of lives. But um, you know, if this happens to you, A, if you ever bruise your tailbone, let me know how long it took. I kind of have an idea because I see runners do it all the time when they do exactly what I did. But I uh, just wanted to come on and just encourage you guys to, when, when things go wrong, take your time, let it happen, and, and let it be okay. I'm, my plan right now is to go to core, go to upper body, um, do some walking with the dog, but I, I don't think I'm going to be running for a little bit, and uh, hopefully I don't trip. You know, this, the silly thing is, is like, so I was you know, just walking in the basement, and of course, I slide on the carpet and almost fall again, but uh, this sucks, and uh, this guy wants to go, and can't. I would lift him up and show you guys, but I can't, because my tail won't hurt. We're gonna go outside and play some frisbee. He's not happy. I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully my tailbone heals in a day. Not gonna happen.